Welcome back to the Let's Play of Mario Luigi and Gary, everybody. In the last part, we made our way through Gusty Gulch and arrived at Gusty Gulch Village. I said in the last part that I'd be level grinding some off screen, and I did. Gary, Stanley, and Ashley are now at level 12. Gary mastered the first level of Hit Point Plus. And since Gary doesn't need any HP right now, I gave it to Stanley. Ashley mastered the Feelin' Fine badge, so she's got pretty lucky on now. I figured a little extra evasion would work for someone who bruises like a peach. The town is infested with phantom mages, and it's our job to give them the boot. Some members of our group doing this more literally than others. Since we only have to fight groups of two of them, this shouldn't take that long. If we concentrate our efforts on one of them, we should be able to defeat one of these freaks per round. That wasn't too impressive. Live up to your name, Ashley. Kill them with your deadly triangles, Gary. Eventually, Gary will work himself up to squares and other PlayStation shapes. Our Luigi stand-in is doing a pretty good job. This isn't taking as shortly as I thought it would. At least these guys aren't that dangerous. Good job. You're wielding that pink like a pro. Though this town has been abandoned, sort of, and super dilapidated, it's got all of the village stuff we need. Oh, cool. Star piece. There's no other way into that building. Hopefully we'll be able to get away soon enough. Same enemies, same method for defeating them. I think we're going to have to do this three more times after this. I think I'm also going to cut those out. Hopefully in this chapter we might also get an upgrade to our weapons and such. One down, one to go. Ah, uh, lockdown. I forgot to mention this earlier, but uh, Stanley's also got the Power Rush badge on. So if Stanley drops below half hit points, he'll turn red too. Great job guys, your level grinding's really showing here. The south side of the village contains a few more buildings we can go into, including an item store. Don't worry guys, nothing interesting happened during that. Goodbye. We're getting a bit low on health here. During the level grinding, Gary mastered the first level of In the Pink, so he's got access to group pinkness now. Thanks for playing. I think that's the last Phantom Mage here. Before I go on a well-deserved shopping trip, I'm going to stay at the, at the Toad House first. Which is not run by a Toad. Well, maybe he was originally a Toad. That's fine, we don't expect a 5-star hotel. Oh jeez, but it costs 5 stars. Okie doke, we're ready for whatever. We'll make a quick stop to save. This is like a cafe sort of deal. No drunken revelry for you guys, then. Relax, dude, we're on it. Yes, and he used to eat ghosts. 
Huh, you guys really turned the other cheek, letting him stay here. Yes. Ah! <laughs> See? Ashley's on board with that. Duh. Gary, you hero, you. Yep, and he's chillaxing in it right now. He doesn't want to look at us while he tells his story of humiliation. Choose evil for better living. Yes, in Paper Mario 64 you ate a bunch of ghosts. The Mushroom World residents are notorious for instant forgiveness. I think a certain hero or two might have a skeleton in their closet. The ill doings of Tubba Blubba weren't totally unwarranted. By the time we get to her, I'm sure we'll be appropriately leveled. If we had have gone directly to the castle, we would have found the front door locked. Yes, we'll have to in order to advance the plot. Sweet! I smell a new field ability. Before we head there, we are gonna buy some items. The item store is surprisingly good. Here we go again. I have a weird habit of doing that. There's a star piece here in this house. Um, I wouldn't say so. Ah, uh, there we go. Another star piece. Let's barge right in on this boo who's on the toilet. Well, if Lady Bo wasn't so lazy, I'm sure she'd be able to help you guys out, too. In addition to the usual restoratives, they also sell ice flowers and earthquakes. Earthquakes are pretty powerful, but they don't work on anything that flies or floats. Uh, a couple of extra ice flowers might help, too. Sixty mushrooms might seem like a lot, but we'll burn through them pretty quickly. So, we're ready to continue on. The enemies from here to Tubba Blubba's castle are pretty much the same as what we've fought so far. This area is pretty important. It's got the windmill, and there's also a locked door here. Unlike in the original Paper Mario, Tubba Blubba's heart is not stored here. In this game, he's a victim rather than a villain. There's also a star piece behind this tree.
I don't think it's possible to get the item box up there without engaging this artichoker. If we also had some spinach, we could make some wicked appetizers up from these things. Princess Bubblegum away! Oh, it's all up in our face with its typewriter legs. Oh jeez, I still think that's gross. Good job, that's one down. At least the sludge attack doesn't hit often. <laughs> Gary seems to really love his magic. I hope the item up there is worth it. Well, a cake mix is kind of worth it. Darn, no star pieces. I guess they're not all behind trees. We're here to kick your non-existent Goomba bum. They ain't worth violet lasering, but they are worth multi-stomping. I'm already missing the days where Goombas can be one-shotted. Nice job. It's always a disappointment when the random number gods determine they all miss. Is this teleportation or extreme speed? You decide. If you can kill them before they start robbing you blind, it's awesome coins. Aw, none behind this tree either. Oh, but there's one down there. Behind a rock. I'm hoping we can get 20 star pieces by the end of chapter 2. I really want that power plus badge. Yes, we have sufficiently grinded. Okie dokie, let's take down these Goomba Gerudos. Oh, check it out! Ashley's got 70 badge points in the Air Rod badge. She's now got access to Surly Squall, the best spell that the Air Rod badge has to offer. Too bad she isn't a little bit faster. Powerful electric attack on all. Isn't that devastating? If it weren't for the spell costing 30 flower points, it'd be a total game breaker. Couple more artichokers, which unfortunately are immune, absorbent to electricity. Here we are getting walled by these guys once again. Fortunately, she's immune to poison now. And Stanley's used to being covered with questionable substances. Goodbye. Gary's magic seems to be getting a bit better. Ugh. Alright, so let's take it on home, cause, um, we gotta go home. Ah, right, he's got the power rush on now. We're almost to the castle now. There's a nice item at the top of this area here. Maple syrup is something I definitely appreciate. And that's not just because I'm a Canuck. This way here will take us to the castle grounds. As you can see, the door is locked, so that's not too much good. 
But the secret entrance that Tubba Blubba was talking about is up here. That's right, slide on through the bars like some kind of amphibious dolphin. Stan was a quiet child growing up. That would be pretty noisy too. You're a girl, you wouldn't understand. Wizards and RPGs do tend to kill everything en masse. I agree, but at least Gary makes your loins tingle. Especially you. Ashley's a teenage girl, you don't need her at all. It's a good theme song, too. Our group dynamic quips are hilarious, but we gotta get the plot rolling. It looks like Chapter 2's dynamic is shrinking down. It's time for some twerks of enthusiasm. G-rated gay slur? Definitely seems so. God bless today's idiot proof magic. You are doing it wrong. No, it didn't. Ashley really has no patience for this guy. Well, they should be gigantic to you now. Good thing your crush is pretty, eh, Stan? And the next one will be investigating the castle's waterways through this grate here. But, for now, I think we'll have to part ways. Thank you guys very much for watching this LP. If you like it, like, fave, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. I love seeing stuff like that. It really makes me happy. Anyway, this is Rogan and I, and I'll catch you guys later.